Okay, so now our, our final speaker for today is Thomas Kasselwanter from the University of Innsbruck. Thomas is head of the Web and Information Systems Department at the Central Information Technology Service at University of Innsbruck, and he will talk about the repository for research data at his university. So, we will share his slides. Here you go, Thomas. So, thanks a lot. Um, actually, we are not that far as TU Graz and TU Vienna. Um, we we uh, just hired uh, our developer, Albert Nessig, uh, two months ago, and we are actually working on a, uh, a test installation of, of, of Invenio. Uh, what we did is we tried to prepare other stuff up front, so we have all our legal documents in, in place. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we tried to, to find out how to uh, connect our local Chris system to Invenio and uh, we started to set up Vivo as, as, as a layer in between. Uh, but nevertheless, um, we want to start with uh, uploading data in January, so we can switch to the next page, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Tailwin, we start with friendly users. Uh, this is also something our rectorate wants. So we start with friendly users in January. And what we also decided already is that our scientists can store raw data or master data or, or whatever you call it, and the research data starting at the master degree level state, uh, uh, studies. So. Uh, we not only store the research data at the end of, the, of a project, you can also store your, your raw data or your master data at the beginning of a project and uh, have them safely stored somewhere at university. Uh, next slide, please. So as I just mentioned, we'll uh, of course start to integrate the repository with local infrastructure also next year. Uh, GitLab, I think everybody else does the same. Uh, we also have a system in place for digital humanities, which is Whiskey, uh, that it works with semantic uh, data and we try to uh, integrate this into, into um, in Venue. So there will be a second copy of the data in the repository. We have our open channel system running. We try to mic uh, integrate. And uh, what's not on the list is we try to integrate it is with, Vivo, with Vivo as our local Chris system. And I think that's enough work for, for the next year. <laughs> okay. So are there any questions for Thomas and his rollout process? A lot to do next year. <laughs> okay. If there are no questions, then we are now slowly coming to an end. Um, just a quick note around the next event of this event series, Research Data Management in Austria. An introduction to Git will be held online on the 7th of December from 10 to 11.30 a.m. So if you're interested, you can register at the following link. I will post it into the chat so that you can get there. Okay, and yeah, a big thanks to all the presenters today, giving us insight into the subject of repositories for research data. Also to everyone who joined us today, thank you very much for your participation in this webinar. We really hope you enjoyed it and we would be very pleased to welcome you at further events. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact the Fair Data Austria team. You can see the contact here on the slide. And we wish you a great day. Let's keep in touch. And um, <laughs> the most important, please stay healthy and see you soon. Yes, the slides will be shared. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here.